Um, so my career is, is pretty simple. Um, since I was four, I wanted to do something important. Uh, I was shocked that all of us conscious beings will die mostly a painful and slow death and thought that was something to try to work on. To me, that seems obvious. Been doing that my whole life. Got a PhD in Australia in genetics. Um, most people don't know I spent a year in Wales, in Cardiff, uh, working in a cold room and that turned me off biochemistry for my whole life. So I thought genetics would be a better approach. <laughs> so I started yeast, studied yeast cells because they smell good and you can work in a warm room, which is also great. <laughs> and so I started to work with, uh, I got a PhD in yeast um, genetics. Um, actually, I'll give you a bit of detail because often I don't get a chance. Uh, I worked on a disease called maple syrup urine disease, uh, and that's because people's urine smells like maple syrup. Uh, and I suppose it's it's not good for them, but I can imagine worse things. Um, <laughs> we cloned the genes. I kid. It's a terrible disease. We cloned the genes responsible in yeast and and uh, figured out some other stuff. But um, I was mostly interested in aging still. And so when Lenny Gorenti came to visit Australia, um, I had dinner with him and was excited that he was working on yeast aging. And so I decided to go to his lab. And long story short, after a lot of pain and trials and errors and luck, I ended up in his lab with a fellowship uh, in 1995 and spent four years there and then got a job at Harvard Medical School. And that was in 2000, sorry, 1999, I'm that old. Uh, so that was uh, 20 something years ago. I've been there ever since. And uh, I run a, a, a center for aging and a lab of around 20 people. And we try to focus on the big questions about aging and health and wellness, and uh, and then try to make things useful for society, not just publish and move on. And so you've probably seen in my career, uh, we don't just rest on our publications, we actually do more than that. And some of my trainees have gone on to become very successful venture capitalists or in industry as well as in academia. Uh, and yeah, it's been a joy working with Inside Tracker from the beginning. I was the first board member, one of the first investors, and I could see the future uh, and it's actually arrived. So it's, it's super exciting to be here. Uh, well, I'm not very good at basketball uh, or golf. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> so this is pretty much the only thing I'm really good at. Uh, I'm, I'm very curious. I like pulling things apart. Uh, I like discovering things. I've got what I'm calling in my next book, the F.U. gene. Uh, in my family, we just don't listen to what anyone says. And if anyone has an opinion, we take the opposite stance. Uh, so that, that works in science. That's what you want. Uh, mm -hmm. And so I went into science. I was going to be a doctor, but realized that um, I didn't, when I was a teenager, I didn't like people that much. And um, <laughs> I didn't want to interact with them every day. So I went to the <laughs> instead and liked mucking around with yeast cells. Why don't I just write a book that answers all those questions that people want to know? Uh, but I wasn't going to write a book until my career was towards the end. Uh, but an editor, no, an agent called me in 2005 and said, hey, I'll help you write a book. I'll help you with this and that. It won't be much work. Well, uh, so I agreed. Um, what was it? It was uh, more than a decade later. I was still <laughs> working on it. Uh, so it was a lot of work um, and that was also hard the, the book got written it, uh, the financial crisis happened my publisher and editor uh, went out of business and uh, for a while there it looked like the book would never get published um, so i updated it and it came out in 2019 at the end of 2019 um, and went to be uh, a bestseller so super fortunate but if there's one lesson here it's never give up if you start something just keep pushing and pushing and you'll eventually get there. <laughs>